Illinois has now gone 100 days without a state budget and instead of negotiating, state leaders spent the day talking about what's going wrong and what could happen if things aren't fixed. Comptroller Leslie Munger reiterating today, the state's backlog of unpaid bills continues to grow without a budget and it could reach more than $8 billion. Well, Governor Bruce Rauner said today talks have reached a stalemate because politicians are too worried about the next election. But Democrats fired back today, saying Rauner wasn't elected to bring down the middle class. Earlier this evening, our sister station, News Channel 20, hosted a special half-hour report, State of Affairs, 100 Days, where our Adam Reif and Jordan Abadea talked with lawmakers, journalists, and groups that are hurting because there's no state budget in place. One advocate had this to say when asked about partisan back and forth. Standing up and pointing your fingers at each other day after day after day is not helping anybody. It is everybody's responsibility to come to work, do their job, and get us a budget that is going to support the needs of people. One of the state refs from Springfield, Republican Tim Butler, calls it frustrating that more meetings aren't going on between the legislative leaders and Governor Rauner. There's certainly not much for us to do. We've seen when we have been in session that, that we've had these, these extended sessions on these committees of the whole that really haven't produced anything. Uh, and, and as you said earlier, that, I mean, really a lot of this happens on the leadership level and in, in negotiations and discussions that go on on the leadership level. And so, you know, there really isn't much of a need for us to be in the Capitol, but it certainly gives a bad, uh, it's, it's a bad impression of the public. The House and Senate are both set to be back in Springfield on the 20th.